Hi friend, in this video we will learn about dyslexic brain. So let me break down what going on in the dyslexic brain for you. So first I want to clear one misconception. Dyslexia are not about seeing things differently or having poor vision. Ishaan Avasti, 2125. That's a common misconception. What is really happening is that the dyslexic brain processes language in a unique way. So let's start with the basics. Our brain have two hemispheres, the left and the right. In most people, the left hemisphere is the language powerhouse. It handles things like reading, writing and speech. The right hemisphere is more about a special task and thinking and big problem solving. Now here is where it gets interesting for the dyslexic. Their brains tend to rely on more the right hemisphere and the frontal lobe. When they are reading, it's like their brain is taking the synaptic route instead of the highway when processing word. This longer journey through the brain can slow things down a bit. This effect is noticeable when it comes to reading. Writing is also implicated by the slower processing. But don't think for a second that this means dyslexics are less intelligent. In fact, many dyslexics are incredibly creative and have amazing problem solving skills. Think about people like Stephen Spielberg, Muhammad Ali and U.P. Goldberg. All dyslexic and all incredibly success in their fields. One of the main challenges for the dyslexic is something called phonological processing. This is basically the ability to manipulate sound in a word. For example, if I ask you to take the C out of cat, you would probably quickly say at. But for the someone with dyslexia, these kinds of tasks can be really tricky. So this phonological processing issue makes it harder for the dyslexic to break word down into their component sound. So when they are faced with the word like fantastic, they might need to mentally break into chunk like fantastic to read it. As you can imagine, this takes more time and effort. I said loud and proper, Ishan, loud and proper. We can make keeping up with the reading in the class are really challenging for them. A spelling can also be a struggle. Dyslexics often spell word the way they sound. So you might see friend for the friend or a stick for the stick. It's not that they don't know how to spell. Their brain just process and sound differently. Now here is something really cool about the dyslexic brain. Research has shown that it's incredibly adaptable with the right kinds of the intensive multi-sensory teaching methods. Dyslexics can actually change the way their brain process language. They can start using their left hemisphere more efficiently for the reading. None dyslexic readers do. It's like their brain is building new highway for the language processing. But it's not just about the reading and writing. The dyslexic brain often comes with some pretty awesome superpowers. Many dyslexics are fantastic at seeing the big picture and a sporting pattern that others might miss. This is thought to be related to the structure of their brain cortex, which has longer axon and larger mini column. In simple terms, this means their brain really good at making connection between different ideas and concepts. This big picture thinking can be huge advantage in the field like art, engineering or entrepreneurship. That's why you will often find the dyslexic in creative or leadership roles. They are great at seeing how all the pieces fit together in a way that other might not. However, this strength is big picture thinking can sometimes come at the cost of processing fine detail quickly. This is why tasks that require rapid processing of small details like reading unfamiliar word can be challenging. Another interesting aspect of the dyslexic brain is how it handles short-term memory. 
especially for a speech song so research has shown that when most people hear a new voice or see a new face their brain quickly adapt and process it more efficiently the next time but for the people with the dyslexia their brain treated this input as a brand new each time this can make it harder to hold a speech sound in the mind which in turn affects reading and language processing it's also worth noting that dyslexic often come with some quick in how the brain handle di- directionality many dyslexics struggle with left right confusion well into adulthood this isn't just about mixing up b and d when writing it can affect things like reading maps or following driving direction too now you might be wondering if dyslexia are all about how the brain process language why does it seems to affect writing and organizing skill too well that's because reading and writing involve more lot more than just recognizing words they require organizing thoughts planning what to write and coordinating hand, hand movements to form letters many dyslexic also have challenge in this area which is why their written work might not reflect their true knowledge or creativity for example a dyslexic person might have a amazing story in their head but when they try to write it down they struggle with organizing their thoughts spelling words correctly and even with the physical of the writing and related coordination called dysgraphia this can lead to what expert call an improvised writing product meaning there is a big gap between what they can say and what they can write but here is the things dyslexic isn't one size fit all condition it exists one spectrum which means one person might have mild difficulty with reading while the another might struggle significantly with both reading and writing this variability is part of what makes dyslexia complex but it also highlight the importance of individualized support and strategy speaking of support that's where friend like you come in having understanding friend can make a huge difference for the someone with dyslexia simple things like not making a big deal out of a spelling mistake or not comparing grades publicly that can really help to for them and remember your dyslexic friend might need a bit more time to process written information so patience is a key it's also super important to recognize and celebrate your dyslexic friend's strength maybe they are amazing at sport or they have a knack of coming up with a creative solution to problem pointing out this strength can be huge confidence booster in the end it's all about understanding that dyslexia are not defect it's just a different way to processing information the dyslexic brain is not broken it's a unique wire and while this wiring can present challenges especially in traditional education setting it also comes with some pretty incredible strength so next time you are hanging out with your dyslexic friend please remember that their brain is like a high performance sport car it might take a bit more effort to handle in some situation but when it's in its element it can outperform in a ways that will blow your mind and just like a high performance vehicle with the right support and understanding there is no limit to where it can go so what do you think does it change how you think about your brain and learning and stuff please comment your view point in the comment section and thank you for watching and see you in the next video